Hi, this is Ken. This week, Tesla didn't just move forward. It crossed into what I'd call its second founding moment. From the outside, it may look like just another week of product updates and factory news. But if you connect the dots, CyberCab sightings, Optimus production, FSD approval in China, and Tesla's new AI chip factory, you'll see something much bigger taking shape. Tesla is no longer a car company, it's becoming an AI organism, one that moves, learns, and thinks on a global scale. Let's start with what actually happened this week. First, multiple cyber cab prototypes were spotted on public roads in California. These are Tesla's dedicated robo-taxi vehicles, the ones with no steering wheel and no pedals. Second, Elon Musk confirmed that mass production of the CyberCab will begin in April 2026. Third, FSD, Tesla's full self-driving software, is on track for full approval in China by the first quarter of 2026. That's huge because it connects the three largest automotive markets, the US, Europe, and China. Fourth, inside Tesla's own factories, the humanoid robot Optimus has started performing actual production tasks. Musk also announced that the pilot line for Optimus is already running at a capacity of up to 1 million units per year. And finally, Tesla revealed plans for TerraFab, its own in-house AI chip fabrication plan. Put all of these together and you can feel that Tesla is transforming into something entirely different, a company that builds intelligence infrastructure rather than vehicles. Let's start with CyberCab. This vehicle represents Tesla's most radical idea yet, transportation without human drivers. It's the first car designed entirely around AI. The new prototypes spotted this week show refinements in door shapes and pillar structures. Clear signs that Tesla is preparing for mass production. Elon Musk has stated that the cyber cab will be built using Tesla's new unboxed manufacturing process. Unlike the traditional assembly line, Unbox builds the car in multiple modules simultaneously, then integrates them at the end. Theoretically, it could reduce production time per vehicle to just a few seconds. Think about that for a moment. It's not just building cars faster, it's deploying intelligent hardware terminals, nodes of a growing neural network that learns from every kilometer driven. Each cyber cab becomes both a vehicle and a data generator, feeding real-world driving information into Tesla's AI training systems. The more they drive, the smarter the network becomes. That's why I often say Tesla doesn't just measure production in cars per year, but in intelligence per mile. Now about FSD and China. If Tesla successfully secures FSD approval in China by early 2026, it would be a turning point for the global AI network. Imagine it, three continents, North America, Europe, and Asia, all contributing real-world driving data to the same learning system. That's no longer a transportation company, that's a planetary neural network. Every car learns from every other car, when one Tesla encounters a complex road situation in Shanghai, that experience instantly improves how another Tesla drives in Los Angeles or Berlin. The result is a global system that gets safer and smarter, not because of software updates, but because of shared intelligence. This is where Tesla's advantage becomes almost impossible to replicate no other automaker has this scale of data feedback loop and no one else has an AI model learning from billions of miles in real time. Let's move to Optimus, Tesla's humanoid robot. A year ago, many saw Optimus as a side project, maybe even a distraction, but now it's already working inside Tesla factories, performing repetitive assembly tasks. That's a remarkable shift from prototype 
to productive labor in just over 12 months. During the latest shareholder meeting, Musk said the Optimus pilot line is running at a pace that could reach 1 million units per year, with long-term goals of 10 million annually. That sounds unrealistic, but remember, Tesla doesn't approach manufacturing like a traditional robotics firm. Its mission is scalability through software. Optimus isn't just a robot, it's a deployable AI labor force. If CyberCab is Tesla's moving AI, Optimus is its working AI. And that brings us to TerraFab, the thinking AI. Tesla's plan to produce its own AI chips marks the final step in vertical integration. So far, Tesla has relied on chip makers like TSMC and Samsung. But global demand for AI silicon is exploding. By building its own fabrication facility, Tesla can optimize chips for its neural networks, reduce dependency, and align hardware perfectly with its training stack. Musk even mentioned possible collaboration with Intel, which could accelerate capacity far beyond what outsiders expect. At that point, Tesla becomes something completely new, a vertically integrated AI company, designing the brain, building the body, and controlling the movement. Now, let's talk about the financial and human side of all this. This week, shareholders approved Elon Musk's new $1 trillion compensation package, with 75% voting in favor. The structure is purely performance-based. He only receives it if Tesla achieves massive growth targets. To me, that's a message of trust, not just in Musk as a person, but in Tesla's long-term vision. Investors are essentially betting that Tesla's future value will come from AI networks, not car margins. It's the market signaling that the real Tesla is still being built. Of course, there are risks. Autonomous driving still faces regulatory roadblocks. AI replacing human drivers and workers will raise ethical and social questions, and the investment required to scale AI chips and robots could stress Tesla's balance sheet in the short term. But as we've seen time and again, Elon Musk doesn't wait for permission to innovate. He builds first and the world adjusts later. 2026 will likely become the year Tesla begins operating not as a car manufacturer, but as an AI infrastructure provider. A company that moves people, powers factories, and connects intelligence through a global network. In other words, Tesla's ultimate product isn't a car or a robot or even software. It's a self-learning system for civilization. We're watching the early stages of a company evolving into a global intelligence organism. Something that learns, adapts, and scales across industries. CyberCab will redefine mobility. Optimus will reshape labor. TerraFab will fuel both with the brains they need to think. Tesla isn't just designing products anymore. It's designing the next layer of human society. So, what do you think? Is Tesla really becoming the infrastructure of the AI era? Or is this Elon Musk's boldest gamble yet? I personally believe it's not a dream, it's a blueprint. And we're witnessing it unfold in real time. If you found this analysis helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe. I post updates like this every day, connecting Tesla's latest moves to the bigger picture of technology, energy, and the future of intelligence. This is Ken, and as always, let's enjoy life in the future. Before we wrap up, let me take a moment to introduce myself. I drive a Tesla Model Y, and at home, I've installed a Tesla Powerwall, so I actually charge my car with solar energy. I truly believe Tesla is shaping the future, and that's why I share the latest news and insights here on this channel. I'm from Japan, but I want to connect with Tesla fans all around the world. That's why I also create an English version of my videos. YouTube 
now lets you switch the audio into your own language so you can enjoy it in whatever language you prefer. Most of all, I'd love to connect with Tesla fans everywhere so we can support Tesla together. I also share updates on X, so feel free to follow me there and let's connect. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to this channel. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.